Hi Jules, welcome back. Today we're going to be starting on our very first page in our mixed media junk journal type thing here. So today I have picked out some goodies and we are going to play with them today. And so um, I have a um, Jane Davenport um, face stamp. I can't remember who sent that to me. It was a while back. So if you're out there watching, let me know who you are. I cannot remember exactly who sent this. But I have some different type of uh, clear stamps that we're going to be using today. Just different styles, different types. Very spring-like um, stamps here. So we are going to be putting together some really, really cool stuff. And I've picked out some pages and papers that we're going to be using in here in this um, in this page here. So let's get started. Let me move all this stuff out of the way first because we are going to be doing a, a full spread, I'm thinking. I'm not sure if we do, we do, we don't, we don't. So let's get this page just so good. guys been doing? I've missed you guys. I had a really good weekend. Got to spend a lot of time outside. Got to spend um, some time helping a, a gentleman uh, with a yard sale and you all would not believe all the delicious goodies that he has. He is basically going to be helping me uh, collect some things and I guess in payment for me helping him it is a huge uh, 12 by 25 garage cram packed full literally full to the top of the building full of all kinds of goodies that uh, he needs help cleaning out and putting out from the yard sale so this is going to be a activity over time um, that I will be doing over the summer, and um, I have already got a bag full of goodies that he has let me have that we are going to play with in the future. So, you all will see future projects with those items that I have received from him. And I can't wait to start because these are awesome ideas and are awesome items for awesome ideas, and I, I just can't wait for it. Because there's not a lot of uh, hours that I can play. So I have got to um, get some videos out for you guys so y'all can see me transform these things that I have acquired. Right, we are going to dry this first layer. And this is homemade uh, homemade gesso. So if y'all would like to know the recipe, I have a video to make homemade white jets I believe it's called. I'm not sure. I really like how that's cracking. I put it on thick in places because there are, uh, there are places I'm wanting texture and that'll just help out with the texture.
banget ya. doctor's appointment today. I'm nervous about it. You know, you never know unless you don't, right? But that's why I have you all. I have the support of you and your prayers. And that's what I need is just your support and your love and your prayers for me. See what the doctor says. I'm hoping for good news. Well, everybody, keep your fingers crossed. And we need luck. I need one more coat on this side because I can still see the writing. But we're going to be using some tape. So you know what? I think I'm going to pass on the third coat. Okay. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to close the lid on my dress but you guys know how I like to do that. So I'm going to put the lid on that. So the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to put some paint and I have chosen some real pretty purples and blues to make the base of this picture. And I have two metallics. I have a blue uh, sapphire and a pure gold metallic. And we may just play with these colors to give it a little bit of an accent. And we may even grab some brighter colors to make things look like flowers. You never know with me. All right, so I think I'm going to start off with my blue water. Thank you. 
use the Folk Art sponge here, two inch sponger, and I'm just going to dab some color on here. I didn't even mean to have that, have that covered. I need to add some more. Oh, some more of this blue. Because we are going to hopefully do a fade from dark to like an ombre type of feeling there. We're going to be adding some texture in there as well. Oh, that didn't turn out all right. That's okay. I'll use the water blue to tone out that. I'm going to just work the color out to use what's on the sponge. Kind of lighten that as it goes out. So use, all your, use the rest of your storage. Or whatever you're using to wear that out. And this looks like bubbles, don't it? Alright, now we gotta put that paint back in the jar. I think I put out way too much. My fan is making the awfulest racket. I don't ever have a machine or anything that makes the noise and you can, there's no way for you to stop the noise or the racket. Well, I have a ceiling fan that does that. It sounds almost metallic. Y'all hear it? Very loud. I try and fix it, but I never can fix it all. I need a bit of light there. Anyway, maybe I can get the landlord to see a different light in here. Um, my landlord, she probably won't do that. But that's okay. That is okay. I'll do it. That's a lighter blue there. And I'm going to pat that in there. Give it a little. Stuff called up on this little desk. I don't have any room. We got that blue over here. All right, now we are going to work in some of this uh, purple pansy. Y'all can see that picking up and all, but we are working some color into the page. Just blending that in. It a, almost like a dreamlike state. We 
do have a little extra paint there, so let's get that in there. Next, we are going to work in some of the lighter purple, which is the purple potatoes. Again, too close. Alright, you're going to work in this lighter purple. Not much. You still want that other blue and the other purple to come seep through this. Our background, so I am going to hit it with some heat and we can dry our page, and then we are going to work with some images. So we have that dry. I have an idea. for this video but I guess I wasn't. So let's look through here and find us some stencils that we can use. Give a real pretty background. Let's see. What do we got? some matte medium on that in lieu of some modeling paste because I don't have any texture not modeling paste but texture paste I don't have any of that so we are going to be using matte gel medium in order to put on some real pretty um, pretty 
ね。What are we going to start with? We are going to work over here first because we are going to put that real pretty facial stamp right here. So, let's see. Let's work with this. I'm going to see if I can get this spotted down with a little bit of paint here. Shake it up. If it don't turn out, we ain't missing nothing. Because you know what? If we mess it up, layers are good, guys. Layers are good. If you don't like something, cover it up. I didn't 
show up real light, but if we take this and put it exactly back on there and touch it with a little bit of gold, I think it would be pretty well. I think it would be pretty well. Just a touch. It should bring it out a little. Right now, I'm going to see if I can find something just a scotch lighter than the gold to give it a little bit of an accent. And I'm going to hand paint the, the detail. And we'll hand paint the detail up. The brush is squashed. Just a second, let me get my brushes open. Alright, where do you open them at? Mm -hmm. Live with promise, love with passion, laugh with pleasure. Like this. Very true. Very, very true. This is going to be so cool. Sorry if I get quiet, guys. When I paint, I get into my painting. And I forget that I'm with you guys. Y'all ever do that? Y'all just forget? Like if you're on the phone and you're talking to somebody and you're arguing with somebody, you forget that you're on the phone and you get real quiet and you're like, hello, hello, are you there? Yeah, uh, just concentrating. 
Let's go to Jersey. Just a little bit of touch up down here because you can still see the lettering down here because it's in gold. But I'm just extenuating the gold, bringing it out a little bit. Did y'all make it good? Are you far along? Are you, are, you, uh, are you making a bit too? Let me know. I want to see pictures if you guys are. I want to see pictures. I don't know if y'all can see that. My light is like going to be bright right here in the corner. So I might get a somewhat of a glare now. I need to clean that brush later. Now, put this in here out of the way. This out of the way to do it down with that one. And then we're using this one with the texture paste over here. I'm um, going to hit this with the heat gun and we're going to dry it. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let me see if I can zoom in that way y'all can see the. Yeah, that's as high as it's going to go. Let me see if I can pull you, pull you up. That's what it looked like. So, now we're going to come over here. And actually, I'm going to wait on the, te on the, on the texture. Because I want to get down to the paper. And we are just going to glue. We're going to glue, ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching. We're going to glue down some paper, some real pretty border paper. And this is my homemade Mod Podge. It's just glue and water. It's amazing. If you've got regular Mod Podge, you go right ahead and you use that. I ain't telling you not to. You don't have to lay it down perfect. Art is not meant to be perfect. I said before, art is not perfect. We don't have to make it perfect. And uh, with Mod Podge, your homemade Mod Podge, keep your glue bottles. Keep your glue bottles because they come in handy whenever you don't want to pour it into a bowl if you don't have a bowl. So you need to keep it in your bottle and it serves its purpose. All right, now let's put some more of these delicious, I mean, delicious papers down. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we're going to put it together. Now, I may have to have a stronger glue for this, but this is like wallpaper. You gotta have a stronger glue. Did I use some more glue? so warm in this house. It heats everything up in here. Probably heated that glue up really nice. Right, now that was Aileen's type of glue. With wallpaper, you need something that's a little bit more of a kick. Easy.
It's so fragile, it's almost breaking in my hand. Oh, I've been for them, so I'll be like, don't worry about it. How about that? I want that to be cool. Let's see how much parts that thing is. Okay, can't be going anywhere. Just this thing, just one. Let's put that thing in here. Stuff there. So I don't know if I said that. What did I say? I don't know what I said. I bet you I did. If I go back and I, and I watch this, I'll be like, oh man, did I just do that? Let's do some more inking on that. This time I won't mess up because I don't be outside.
it on there. We've used so far is we've used ditto, uh, stencils, strips of paper, paint, and we're about to use stamps and uh, matte gel medium. So that's our thing for the moment. Let that dry for a bit. I'm going to be putting that over here. I'm going to do something with it once it dries. But we're going to be putting this over here. This over here. But I'm holding a real stamp, or not, it's not a real stamping block, but uh, I found it at the person's. Yeah, awesome. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need me a big acrylic stamping block, and so guess what? It turned into a, an acrylic block that I can stamp with. I needed one that big, because I didn't have one that big. So, so we're going to, well, pull this out, place this on the block. It's on there. It's on there. Awesome. Looks good. Looks good. Good, 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 good. And now we are going to add a color to her.
baby, and you start to feel it, to feel in and shine. bit of a attribute to her mouth. There we go. Well, we're going to give this little lady some eye cover. And as you all know, I do love my purple. So we're going to do some metallic purple, and I'm going to mix that with just a touch of white. I'm going to have metallic purpley white with a little pretty. This girl. Wow. All right. Oh, she looks gorgeous, guys. What do you guys think? She's beautiful. Does she need some work? You tell me. I love it. <laughs> All right. Now we are going to work on the the uh, 
the Matt Joe uh, stamp over here. Not stamp, but stamp. Over. I'm going to put that right here. We get a little bit of a stamp. I know. So, y'all see where I put that? Did you come on all the time when you said, I swear I could put it behind my ear and I'd lose it. Where's my little thing go? Right there. So not gonna put much. Nope, we don't want to stick that whole thing in there. Gorgeous, baby. Gorgeous, gorgeous. A little bit of a butterfly there. Not done. But that's two I need to put into a soak. So, now I'm going to see, just see if this works. I'm going to see if this little bit of gold. I'm going to go over top of this with some, with some gold before it dries. And then I'll dry on it.
That's got to dry because it's going to be quite sticky once. Uh, a little bit kind of dry and harden up. Now, we are going to use some more stamps to add to this real pretty thing. So let's see, what do we got in here? We've got some paisleys, we've got some flowers. Ah, that's perfect. Going to put the destination unknown. I know I need to clean these. I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't fuss at me. I'll do that after the thing. Alright, then we're going to use. Got good texture. Got good texture there. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some other butterflies there. Let's Use your wings when you are all a little fat. Is 
done two spreads here. I'm really enjoying this. We may add some more at a later time. But, okay, I'm going to add one more saying for now. I'm going to let you guys go. Just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. So, world was over, yep. So, didn't it stamp out the way I want to? Because it didn't have a pattern like that. But that's okay. It's it's an extended book. It's it's gonna have it's gonna have uh, ins and outs. So, let's see. Let me zoom you out so you can see the full spread. So that is our first page in our mixed media junk journal. So I hope you guys like the the creating process and hopefully you guys will do the same and create your own. Um, I hope I inspired at least one of you to get out there and craft and share your artwork. I hope that if you are not a part of our group, that you will come and join us. Come see what the hubbub's all about. If you ha if you don't know what I'm talking about, head over to Facebook and uh, look for a group called Creative Jewels by Emily. You have to friend request us to, to get in. But when you finally get in, you'll get in and you'll see all kinds of great artists. So, I want you guys to be safe, be happy, enjoy your life. And enjoy your day. Do some things that make you happy. And most of all, enjoy your life. Love one another. Say I love you. Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you with some food for thought. It says if you leave your past in the past, it will destroy your future. Live for what today has to offer and not what yesterday is. All right, Jules, I love you all, and I hope to see you guys again on my next podcast. Love you all. Bye.